Zygu G90 High Frequency Radio isn't just a cheap high frequency radio that you buy solely for the price. The G90 has enough capabilities to stand its own ground. The price tag is the cherry on top of all that this radio has to offer. The compact unit measures 1.77 inches in length and 4.72 inches in width and has a depth of 8.26 inches. That alone will give you plenty of flexibility to install or place this radio where you want it. But Zygu goes the extra mile here. It has four extension handles that can screw into the side of the radio front and back. Additionally, the front panel faceplate is detachable. The radio comes with a DB9 cable to make this possible. All these features and capabilities bode well for the convenience of installing this radio. The front of the Zygu G90 high frequency radio has a few buttons and a few knobs, but it's dominated by the large color display. This LCD shows plenty of information like frequency, volume, signal, standing wave, and more. It even has a waterfall to display the frequencies. However, this isn't a touchscreen and not nearly as advanced as the displays you'd see on ICOM IC7300 or Yaesu FTDX10. Then again, these models cost almost two to three times more than the Saigu G90. While the display on the radio is crisp and bright, the lighting doesn't extend to other buttons or knobs. None of the controls are backlit, which I think is a huge oversight. Better visibility of the controls is important for a portable radio, which might easily find itself in low light conditions. Another factor where Zygu G90 high frequency radio lags behind many of its competitors is transmit power. This radio tops out at 20 watts, though other high frequency radios generally prefer to have a max transmit power of 100 watts. Although for a unit that has portability in mind, the 20 watts output is pretty decent. Though it might be lacking in a few aspects, Zygu doesn't feel like it messes out on a lot. I like that a lot of functions for the radio can be handled with the included microphone. Apart from the conventional buttons, the microphone has a few dedicated function buttons and two configurable buttons. You can adjust the built-in antenna tuner for the radio completely through the microphone. Speaking of the built-in tuner, Zygu's tuner appears to be a very impressive one. Many users find it absolutely fun. The tuner will work with anything metal and use it as a decent antenna. Well, there's bound to be some loss if you don't use a proper antenna, but still, the built-in auto tuner deserves appreciation. On the left side of the radio, you'll find room for two interfaces. One of these is the standard 3.5mm audio jack where you can attach the headphone of your choice. Alternatively, you could also attach your choice of speakers here for better, clear audio. The other spot is for the self-defining interface. Simply put, you can use this spot for firmware updates or for connecting this radio to a computer. Overall, this is an excellent radio that punches above its weight. While it falls into the budget category, Zygu G90 High Frequency Radio isn't a cheap pick. Rather, it's a cost-effective and feature-rich option. To sum up what we'd like is the compact size and portability, attractive price point, the front panel's removable, the built-in antenna auto-tuner is very effective, and an overall feature-rich radio. On the downside, the maximum output power is 20 watts, and there is no backlight for the control buttons, or knobs. Our rating for functionality is 8 out of 10. Reliability, 8.5 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. So what do you think? Is this the best high-frequency radio for you? Or do you think another radio is better? Check another video where we reviewed the top high-frequency radios and see if any of these is a better option for you. Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.